Let's go to Leland, Michigan. October 10, 2022, driving through Empire, Michigan, on our way to Leland to do a little rock hunting. And we're just taking a look at the uh, colorful red maples that are out. Things are probably about 50% at uh, this time of the year, uh, in 2022, and that's probably about normal. Anyway, we'll see more in a little bit. Ah, we are at uh, Reynolds Beach, um, the end of Reynolds Street in Leland, Michigan, and looking for some Leland Blues and Frankfurt Greens and maybe even some Petoskey Stones. And uh, if you look down the beach, it's got uh, a lot of rocks uh, and some fun kayaking and gorgeous weather. Wind's not bad at all. And as I was standing here, I looked down and I found a Frankfurt Green right there. So, pretty interesting already. Starting to get some. Very good. Put that in my bucket over here. Uh, Jan and I are on uh, North Beach now in Leland, Michigan. And uh, this is where we seem to find a lot of Petoskey stones. And uh, just kind of scanning here, that's the marina. This is the entrance where you come in, but I just walked up out of the water after not finding anything. And two Petoskey stones laying right here as I walked out and looked down. Also found a uh, Frankfurt Green, uh, not too far away from them, a little, a little smaller. Anyway, good finds today so far. My wife Jan is down there working the beach and uh, putting rocks in her uh, in her fanny pack, uh, which she uh, manages to fill up most days. And uh, she usually hunts for pretty rocks, but has already found a Petoskey stone or two. So again, doing really well. Here we go. Okay, there. All right, yeah, Jan found another uh, half Petoskey, half, half <laughs> whatever, uh, using her new scoop here. So uh, what, do you, what do you think about that one? I love it. Every time I can find a Petoskey, it's good. I keep it no matter what. Okay. <laughs> Got some interesting stuff down here on the ground. <laughs> interesting. Rocks, fossils. Uh, lots of fossils at this location. I found some uh, interesting ones, but uh, we'll show you whatever we find if we find something that jumps right out at us. So far, about five Petoskey stones. Sampling of the Petoskey stones we found on this trip, and we have a couple of nice crinoid stem cross sections and Jan found a really nice favocytes or honeycomb coral and look what I found here bending down to check out to see if I had a Petoskey stone and what do you suppose that is well next to that unikite right about there is the biggest Leland blue I've seen or even found since I haven't found one yet. If the waves will give me a break, we'll get a good look at it here in the sun. But holy moly! A Leland Blue! Fantastic! Yahoo! There was an ironworks furnace located here in Leland by the Leland Lake Superior Iron Company and operated from 1870 to 1872. It was then sold to the E.B. Ward Company, and they operated it from 1872 to 1875. Leland Iron Company then bought it in 1875 and operated until 1884. The Iron Star Furnace Company then bought it in 1885, and we don't know when that ended. The Iron Works plant was located just about 50 feet north of the river mouth and current marina. Information courtesy of Leland Historical Society. Jan gets the award today for finding the smallest Petoskey stone at, at Leland, uh, Michigan, North on Beach. North, North Beach. So that was a great find. It's only one chamber. Yeah. You know, 
one and a half maybe. Just a stroke of luck. Real small guy. <laughs> Thin, as Great a job. Thin as a wafer. And now I just found my second piece of Leland Blue. It's actually purple, but uh, it qualifies. And I always find things on the ground that look like Frank the Green, and then they turn out not to be. But anyway, number two for the day, October 10, 2022. Yahoo! Well, end of a nice day, October 10, been here about three hours. And uh, we're gonna head to the restaurant and hopefully find something good to eat up here in Leland, Michigan. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>